From Area 51 to the teacher's lounge at school, there are some places that are totally out of bounds and you must never step foot in them. But while they can stop us from entering them, they can't stop us from talking about them. These are 15 forbidden places you are not allowed to visit. Number 15. Why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic. Antarctica is the southernmost continent of our planet. It is always winter there, and over 90% of it is covered by ice all year long. It is the coldest, windiest, and ironically driest continent in the world. It's actually considered a desert. But have you ever wondered why planes never fly over the Antarctic? And also, why nobody is allowed there except scientists? Well, first of all, it's to protect both people and the fauna and flora there. The continent is so extremely cold, the temperatures can easily drop to negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So you would need a lot of professional equipment and training to be able to survive a visit, let alone to live there. Also, it's to protect every plant and animal that lives there, as the ecosystem of Antarctica is very delicate and fragile, and human presence could easily jeopardize that. Some people also think that some mysterious things happen down in Antarctica, like laboratory facilities hidden under the thick layer of ice, where scientists conduct dangerous experiments. I mean, if you think about it, it would be the perfect place for a secret lab. And planes can't fly over Antarctica because a commercial plane always has to be, for security reasons at least one hour away from any kind of airport. And in Antarctica, as you can guess, there's absolutely nothing for miles. This is why no one's allowed to explore the Arctic. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. The Antarctic is one of the most fascinating places on Earth. It's enraptured the imaginations of conspiracy theorists for decades. What we'd like to talk about now is an extension of Topic 15. We forgot to mention that this is one of the reasons why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic, because people think alien life has been found there. Yeah, really. And this image depicts what people claim to have seen there. It might just be that the people who do explore the Antarctic are kind of delirious, hungry, and cold, but there are countless stories about alien life being spotted out there. Terrifying, if true. If it is, we wonder what draws aliens to landing there instead of warmer places. What do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Lascaux Cave The famous Lascaux cave paintings are in the Dordogne region in France. They are prehistoric paintings that were discovered in 1940 by four young boys. And after the Second World War, the cave was open to the public to visit. A team of archaeologists stated the paintings as being 17,000 years old. Yeah, that is 170 centuries old. The paintings quickly became extremely subversive and important because we had no idea until their discovery that an advanced civilization existed such a long time ago, and it proves that we actually know very little about the prehistory of our species. Because of that, the cave had around 1,500 visitors per day. People were flying in from all over the world to see the magnificent prehistoric mural. But since 1963, nobody's been allowed inside the cave, which is under heavy protection and strict rules of surveillance. But why? Well, apparently, the breath of the visitors and the fungi they brought in on their shoes by accident completely changed the humidity levels and the temperature inside the cave, resulting in the extreme decay of the mural. In other words, in just a couple of decades, the paintings suffered more than they did in 17,000 years. Today, they've made an exact replica that's possible to visit, but the true paintings are being extremely protected. Number 13. North Sentinel Island, India North Sentinel Island is located in an archipelago in the Bay of Bengal in India, and it might just be the most single, mysterious, and off-limits island on Earth. The area is patrolled by the Indian Navy, and no boat can get closer than 5 nautical miles, which is almost the distance of 10 kilometers. The island belongs on paper to the South Andaman Administrative District, but nobody has set foot there in a long, long time. 
Why? Well, the reason is so crazy, you'll hardly believe it. There's a group of people living on the island called the Sentinelese who are an aboriginal tribe. This particular tribe has always been extremely hostile to outsiders, and unlike other tribes of the area, they have systematically refused contact with the outside world. So much so, they will defend their island by force if necessary, and they've already killed people that tried to enter the island in the past. Since the Andaman and Nicobar Islands Protection of Aboriginal Tribes Act of 1956 and 1959, it is prohibited to travel to the island in fear that tribespeople will contract any disease to which they have no immunity. In other words, it's no longer possible to visit in order to protect the island's residents. Number 12. Surtsey Island, Iceland Surtsey Island is located 32 kilometers south off the coast of Iceland, and it's a volcanic island. But this isn't your regular volcanic island. This one has the particularity that it was created very, very recently. It appeared on the face of the earth between 1963 and 1967. And to make things more interesting, Surtsey Island has been heavily protected since its birth. Therefore, it is a perfect playground for scientists to conduct studies without any kind of human-related activity on the fauna, flora, and ecosystem. That is also the reason that they thoroughly search every visitor that enters the island. And they're not looking for knives or guns, they are looking for seeds. And seeds can hide pretty much anywhere, like inside the bread of your favorite sandwich or tucked away in the sole of your shoe. But one visitor once disregarded this no seed rule and decided to poop on the island. And from his soil, a beautiful little tomato plant happily grew. That tiny plant had scientists puzzled for a while until they realized what happened and immediately destroyed the little rebellious plant in order to keep the biodiversity of the island intact. Number 11. The Ise Grand Shrine the Ise Grand Shrine is the single most important sacred place in the entire country of Japan. It's also known as Jingu and is located in the Ujitachi town in the Miya prefecture, surrounded by a lush and green forest. In the massive wooden shrine complex, there are actually 126 shrines in total, each one for different deities, like Amaterasu, the sun goddess, or Tuyuke Omekami, the goddess of agriculture and industry. This place is considered to be the soul of Japan, and it's the most venerated and sacred site in Japan. Every 20 years, they demolish the main structure of the complex only to rebuild it following Buddhist heritage. This ancient tradition goes back to the 8th century, and it costs, on average, $500 million every time. Mostly, the ritualistic demolishing and reconstruction of the shrines is paid by taxpayers' money and also through donations. But interestingly, the public cannot enter the main structure of the shrine. They can go up to the gate, but they can never ever cross the doors. That's because of the sacred nature of the place. It's been this way for centuries. Number 10. North Brother Island we all know about the New York notorious prison complex called Rikers Island. It's an island located in the East River located between Queens and the South Bronx industrial coast. But have you ever noticed the smaller, lusher island right next to it? That's North Brother Island, and it's a 22-acre plot of land and is strictly forbidden to visit it on your own. You would need a city worker and an experienced guide and the permission of Town Hall. But why? North Brother Island looks so innocent and it would be such a good placement. Well, originally, that island was used to treat patients with extremely infectious diseases like smallpox, tuberculosis, and measles. They chose an island to try to stop the spreading of the diseases, which in a way worked pretty well. Even the infamous Mary Mallon, dubbed Typhoid Mary, died there in 1938. There was a hospital complex, private housing for medical staff and patients, a morgue, a church, everything you would need without leaving the island. But since then, it's been abandoned, and today, the ruins are still there. It's very dangerous to go there alone because the structures are in such decay that it's easy to get seriously hurt. Also, nowadays, it's become a bird sanctuary, where they go to lay their eggs during mating season. Number 9. Dulce Base, USA 
Dulce is a secret underground military base in New Mexico, USA, and local residents of the area have been saying for years now that very strange things happen down there. People seem to think that strange experiments go down, all about genetic engineering, and also that they might be keeping aliens there as well. The US government has never acknowledged any kind of military operation going on in Dulce, but residents are absolutely convinced that a base exists and they have close contact with extraterrestrial life. There are UFO sightings quite often in the area, and in 1979, Mr. Benevitz believed to have intercepted electronic communications from an alien spacecraft just outside of Albuquerque, which isn't far. New Mexico seems to be a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, and the truth is that during the Cold War, underground missile installations were built in the area, so there is a possibility that there is a hidden secret military base there. But as hard as people look for the tunnels under the Dulce Mesa, no one's ever found anything. So it's either an extremely well-kept secret, or it simply isn't there. But in any case, it is impossible to go to the base if it exists. Number 8. Heard Island Meet the most elusive and remote island in Australia, Heard Island. It's also Australia's tallest mountain and one of the most isolated islands in the world. It's not far away from Antarctica, so you might imagine the temperatures aren't really pleasant. Heard Island is a volcanic island, and it might just be the country's best kept secret. It's also very hard to spot, as it's hidden behind thick clouds most of the year. But even if you do get to see it, it's not recommended to go there, as the Big Ben, as in the volcano on the island, is still very much active and could easily erupt without notice. You can even hear it from a distance, the sound of molting rock violently trying to get out into the atmosphere through the island's core. Further from the volcanic rock, you can find large glaciers where the ocean waves aggressively and constantly crash. It doesn't sound very inviting. The journey to get there is just 4,000 kilometers on boat from Fremantle, but it's rough and dangerous, so only scientists wanting to study the island's ecosystem take the risk to make it. Not even fishermen do it. And once you get there, if an accident occurs, the chances of getting rescued are extremely slim. So as you can see, it isn't forbidden to go to Heard Island, but it isn't easy either. Number 7. Doomsday Vault, Norway Turns out Santa Claus isn't the only one living in the North Pole. There's also a very special vault there where all the seeds in the world are lying frozen forever. It's the Svalbard Seed Vault, also known as the Doomsday Vault. It was built in an island halfway between Norway and the North Pole, and it's designed to withstand any natural disaster ever. Human beings have been freezing seeds and crops for a long time now for safekeeping, so if famine or a natural disaster strikes, we can replant our crops and rebuild our society. But don't expect to be allowed inside the Doomsday Vault. That'll never, ever happen. Only the scientists that work there have access to it. And it isn't even possible to reach the island it's built on. Even if you did, you'd have to fight off extreme weather, polar bears, and being completely cut off from the outside world. The vault is 100 meters inside the mountain, which makes it virtually impossible to get in, except for the only visible part, the entrance, which is heavily guarded. Number 6. Snake Island, Brazil this island is the perfect nightmare if you're someone that suffers from ophidiophobia, also known as the uncontrollable fear of snakes. I mean, it isn't called Snake Island for nothing. It's located less than 100 miles off the coast of Sao Paulo in Brazil, and even if you're perfectly fine with snakes and you don't fear them, going to this island would still be a terrible and fatal mistake. The place is absolutely infested with snakes, and not only that, it's also home to one of the deadliest snakes in the world. World. The notorious Lancehead Viper, and the island has 4,000 specimens of Lancehead Vipers. There's a reason this island is considered one of the most dangerous islands on the planet. 
So why are there so many snakes there? Well, according to the Smithsonian, Snake Island got separated from mainland Brazil 11,000 years ago, and that resulted in the snakes that got stuck there to evolve with very different conditions than their cousins living in the continent. They didn't have any predators there and, equally important, no human interaction. The result is an overpopulation of snakes, a snake haven of sorts. But as a human being, if you go there, you have to keep in mind that you are never more than three feet away from death. Number 5. Area 51, USA Area 51 is the name of a highly classified United States Air Force facility in Nevada in the US, and it is arguably the most secure air force and military base in the world. Nobody, and we mean absolutely nobody, from the general public is allowed anywhere near it, and what goes on inside is up to your imagination, because it is top secret. It's even illegal to fly over it, and on Google Earth, there used to be a convenient cloud over it day and night, always the same cloud. Area 51 is close to two other classified military bases, and the entire complex covers more than 2.9 million acres of land. Originally built in 1955, the CIA only acknowledged its existence in 2013. So up till then, people that lived right next to it had no idea that it really existed. They say that Area 51 supports the development and testing of experimental aircraft and weapons systems, as well as the most advanced espionage programs in the world. But the common consensus of what goes on there is very different. In 1947, supposedly a UFO landed in Roswell, New Mexico, and it's believed that both the aircraft and the extraterrestrial pilots were taken to Area 51 for examination. We don't know exactly what goes on inside because, well, nobody can get in. Number 4. Tomb of Qin Shi Huang, China Qin was the first emperor of China. He ascended to the throne at the age of 13, and he immediately started building his mysterious tomb. It took 38 years and 700,000 workers to complete it. Emperor Qin's underground tomb was discovered in 1974 by five brothers. Guarding the tomb are 7,000 terracotta warriors to protect their master for all eternity. And at the gates of the chamber, there are traps that fire arrows at anyone who dares enter. Knowing all this, would you still go inside? The doors to the tomb where the Emperor's remains are have never been opened. Nobody knows what could be behind them. Historic records say that it's the richest tomb of all time. They say inside it, there are palaces filled with treasures. It's unclear why the Chinese government's never even tried to open these gates, but the fact is that no one is allowed in, and they're under heavy surveillance 24-7. Which means that the tomb has been closed since 210 BCE. Some people say it's to respect the dead. It is, after all, the first emperor of China. And another reason is that we still don't have the technology to excavate such an important tomb without damaging the ancient artifacts inside. Number 3. Kravchichka Brana, Czech Republic the Pravchichka Brana, or the Bohemian City of Rocks, is located only three kilometers from Hrensko, near the state border with Germany in the Czech Republic, and it is the largest natural sandstone arch in Europe. At the top of it sits the Falcon's Nest restaurant, which was built in 1881, and the views from there are outstanding. But since the 18th century, the site has received so many visitors that it resulted in the increased erosion of the upper parts and the destruction of the gate. This is due to the extreme fragility of the rock arch, which is so incredibly flimsy it can't even carry its own weight, something that's been puzzling scientists for decades as to why it's still standing. Because of the peril of erosion, access to the public has been strictly forbidden since 1982, and since then, nobody has been up there. In addition, in 2009, the Pravchitska Brano was shortlisted for the new Seven Wonders Global Poll for the Seven Natural Wonders of the World. It qualified with 71 other semi-finalists. So now, more than ever, the Czech government is trying to protect their beautiful natural rock arch. And now, the chances of anyone being able to visit it are extremely thin. Number 2. Nihau Island, USA 
The Nihau Island is located in Hawaii and is completely off limits to the public. Elizabeth Sinclair, who was a Scottish farmer and plantation owner, bought the Nihau Island for the Kingdom of Hawaii for $10,000 in gold back in 1864. During the Second World War, after Pearl Harbor, a Japanese firefighter crashed into the island and was helped by residents of Japanese descent. Today, only Sinclair's descendants, the Robinsons, have access to the island. Nobody else is allowed in. That's the case because the ownership of Nihau Island passed down from generation to generation. Only the estimated 170 residents that live on the island have access to it. But the reason why might come as a surprise. The Sinclair family simply made a promise to the Hawaiian king Kamehameha V to preserve the heritage of the island and to protect it from the outside world. And the Robinsons, to this date, honor that promise. Today, the sole owners of the island are Bruce and Keith Robinson, and they are committed to preserving the island and to protecting its people. So if you really want to go visit Nihau Island, there's only one possible way. Make friends with Bruce or Keith Robinson so they personally invite you. Number 1. Bohemian Grove Bohemian Grove is a privately owned 2,700-acre compound in Monte Carlo, California. And like any place that's privately owned, its access is restricted. The site is owned by the Bohemian Club of San Francisco, which was founded in 1872 by journalists, musicians, and artists. Since the late 19th century, in mid-July each year, Bohemian Grove hosts more than a two-week camping event that only a very elite group is allowed access to. For starters, to be a member of the Bohemians, you need to pay a $25,000 entry fee, and you need to pay $5,000 each year after you're accepted. Secondly, you need to have an Ivy League education. In other words, only the richest and most privileged people in America can be members. Known members of the club are Richard Nixon, Clint Eastwood, and George H.W. Bush. During the encampment, it's known that lots of rituals happen with a reminiscence of the occult and with strong symbolism. Some of these have been caught on camera throughout the years, but the security at Bohemian Grove is very tight, so it's virtually impossible to sneak in. I don't know about you, but I had no idea there were so many off-limit places in the world. If you had the chance, which one of these mysterious places would you rather visit, and why? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!